Hi folks, how are you doing? It's Friday, yes. How's your week been? I've had a busy week, so I think I deserve to drink some fine cognac and hopefully smell some fine cognac because I'm sharing my first impressions on my most expensive blind buy ever. It's by Killian's Angel Share. Stay tuned. In the interests of full transparency, the brand did not send me this bottle. I paid for it with my own money. And I also have to be honest and say, it's not cognac, it's Armagnac, but it's close enough. If you're interested, the Armagnac I'm gonna drink this evening is Domain Tarake XO. You can see I've already made quite a dent in this bottle. It's a very smooth, beautiful Armagnac. So let's have a little pour of that. And if you've not already poured yourself a Friday night drink, do the same and let's share a drink together. Here we go. Cheers. This stuff is buttery smooth, absolutely delicious. All right, now, by Killian's Angel Share. I've been hearing so much buzz about this. I've been hearing so many positive reviews I just thought I had to buy it. I was looking for discounts, deals before Christmas. There weren't any, obviously why would there be? It's a new fragrance and then it sold out. So I had decided I was gonna buy this fragrance. Couldn't find it anywhere, so I had to wait. Thank you very much to Killian for sending me this fragrance after I paid them 165 pounds. Yes, that's a lot of money for 50 ml of juice. The most expensive blind buy I think I've ever made. I do have a good idea of how this smells and there are a lot of people, Nigel, two cents worth, whose noses I really trust and I know if they like something, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it as well. My only slight trepidation about this fragrance is I know it's gonna be sweet and boozy and delicious, but when it comes to sweet fragrances, I really like there to be some texture, some structure to the fragrance, not just out and out sweetness. So I'm hoping that I get that probably from the woody elements of Angel Share. So I'm gonna unbox it for you. And I'm gonna share my first impressions. I've got a good idea of how I think it might smell. And I think I'm gonna like it. But as I said, I just hope there's some good structure and texture to the fragrance. Has anyone else smelled this whilst drinking a cognac or amniac at the same time? Probably not. Although I reckon Brandon from Da Vinci's Alchemist probably did, because he made a drink around this fragrance, based on this fragrance. Go and check out his video. I'll leave a link to that, by the way, in the description. Also, Nigel from Two Cents Worth did a great video on this fragrance, so I'll also leave a link to that video in the description. Angel Share apparently is the amount of liquid that evaporates in the barrel when cognac is being made, when brandy is being made, and this is the share of the angels and, and it's been captured in this bottle very kindly by Killian Hennessy for us to wear. So usually it would be lost, but this has been saved for us. <laughs> anyway, look at that. Stunning presentation. I think I, I think I like that better than the usual Killian bottles. I love the normal Killian presentation, but I think that is beautiful. How nice is that? It's a, like a whiskey glass, a, a cut glass. It's actually a lot nicer than the glasses I have. 50p from Sainsbury's. I could do with a few of these in my life. I think, I think this presentation might encourage me to actually invest in some nice glasses. Okay, shall we do this on skin? Yes, let's do this on skin because that's the best way. Let's do it on paper first and then just see how it differs. Okay, I like it. We're definitely going on the skin. Oh, the booziness of this is perfect. Smooth and deep, rounded. I always say I love the cognac in Roger Parfum's Enigma because I always describe it as pulling you into the fragrances, just drawing you in and throwing you deep 
into the middle of that fragrance and this one does the same there's no sharp edges to this at all it's just smooth and everything you want from a good boozy opening wow the woodiness is something that comes through straight away i almost almost get a hint of orange not heard anyone else say that it's not in the notes probably just me there's praline in here maybe that's giving off that that vibe but there's almost a hint there's something it's making me think of something else but i don't know what but not exactly the same it reminds me of something else but it doesn't smell the same as anything else that i've got in here we have obviously cognac there is sandalwood and oak praline i think there's some cinnamon i get almost um like a, a dark dried fruits accord as well which is beautiful like you know dried dates or something like that which actually helps with the structure of the fragrance with that nuance with that texture that i was talking about so it's not just a sweet fragrance this has got depth to it well so far 165 pounds well spent we're going to go on skin before we end mm, that fruitiness comes out even more on my skin so it's sort of smooth and and musky, don't know if there are musks in here. Almost reminds me of how smooth Nasamato's Baronda is. I know that's a whiskey note in there. Okay, this is a good winter scent. This is a good autumn winter scent. Dressed up, formal occasion or some kind of special occasion. It actually smells much deeper and woodier and weightier on skin than it does on the paper, I have to say. It smells sweeter on the paper than it does on my skin. All right, I'm pleased. I'm pleased with my purchase. That is definitely a welcome addition to my collection. I love the presentation. I love the smell. What more could you ask for? I know it's a lot of money. A lot of people would not want to spend 165 pounds on a fragrance. A few years ago, I wouldn't have. I'd be looking at my future self going, are you crazy? What? What's wrong with you? But as you get into something, as you get into a hobby and you start collecting your interpretation of value changes doesn't it and when you know about fragrances and you have a lot of fragrances 165 pounds you get to understand is the norm for this kind of fragrance for this quality i'm going to put this on i am going to wear this now for the rest of the day it is now my scent of the day i've had this for over a week <laughs> but I've been wanting to do a first impressions in this video. So it's been sitting there in the corner of this room waiting to be opened. And it's taken such willpower to, to not just open it and have a quick spray. But I wanted to do my first impressions on camera. It's good. I like it. I knew I would. It has the texture and the structure that I wanted from it. So I'm very happy with that. It is now back in stock on Killian's website. They send out a few free samples as, uh, as well. And it is free shipping, which is why I ordered it from Killian. Uh, it is available also at Selfridges, but you don't get the samples and you don't get the free shipping. So um, Killian, direct from Killian was the option for me. So first impressions are fantastic. I'll probably come back with a bit more of an in-depth review when I've had a chance to wear it and I can talk about performance and how it's been working for me. But at the moment, first impressions, I love it. It's great. Really, really good fragrance. So that's it from me. If you've tried this, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. It's obviously been selling out, so I think a lot of you own this. So please let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, keep tuning into FM, keep smelling good, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>